Hi everyone, my name is JC of The Mindful Awakening and welcome to another episode of Mindful Mondays. Clearly this is not my typical background, but you know, I, uh, I just decided I needed to get out of the city and uh, a friend of mine, Eagle Flight, um, on Instagram suggested that I take myself on a solo road trip just to recenter myself with all of the full moon and Aquarius energy. This portal that's open right now, I've kind of just found myself in a little bit of a, an emotional space, which always happens to me during the full moon season. But I'm happy I took his advice and took myself out on this little road trip. As you can see, it's beautiful out here. There's boats behind me. I'm surrounded by water. I'm surrounded by nature and I'm really feeling so much peace being out here right now. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're okay with the fact that this Mindful Monday is hitting you guys a little bit later than normal. Um, heads up, I will not be doing, um, I will not be using the Rebecca Campbell Work Your Light Oracle cards for this particular Mindful Monday only because I could bring limited stuff with me because I am filming on location. Um, so we're only going to be using the Light Series Tarot deck and I hope that that's okay with you all. So let's go ahead and check and see what energy we are going to be experiencing for the week of July the 26th to August the 1st. What energies will the collective be facing? for July the 26th to August the 1st. All right, let's take a look and see what's in store for us. July 26th to August 1st. Also, um, it's really bright right now. I know it looks overcast in the video, so I'm not 100% sure if the um it's shaky i apologize if it is but i hope these messages still resonate with you all right we need one more card i'm taking four cards from the light series tarot deck really interesting energy wow so the first card that popped out is a nine of wands upright followed by the seven of wands upright. We have no cards in reverse for this week, which is beautiful and I'm so happy to see that. With the nine of wands upright and the seven of wands upright, I'm really getting here that we're taking the time to protect our peace. Um, we're taking a time out in whatever aspects in our lives that may have been stressful. We're using this time to center ourselves, to reground ourselves, to reevaluate whether or not the things that we said we wanted are still the things that we want. And I think oftentimes when we are very goal oriented um, and we have a certain plan, at least for me personally, I know that it's sometimes challenging um, to admit that your plans need to change to admit that something that you first started off as wanting may no longer be what you want for yourself anymore. And I think there's a bit of like a defensive energy that's here right now, like wanting to self-protect, wanting to preserve our energy, wanting to uh, protect our emotions, protect our heart. Um, not necessarily, I think, because people are coming at us per se, but I think over this last full moon in Aquarius, we have been going through like a collective massive download of a whole bunch of different things. Our realities are shifting, our desires are shifting, um, stuff that made us once happy just isn't necessarily doing it for us anymore. And I think there's almost like a need to have to go inward and take a time out from everyone and not be affected by other people's opinions. And I think that's what this week is going to be all about. It's about self-love, but not necessarily self-love in terms of like, oh, light some candles, take a bath. Um, self-love can also be deeply healing. Self-love could also look like purging emotions. Self-love could also look like taking a time out and being alone and I think at the beginning of the week, we're definitely still going to be going through that energy of wanting to take a time out, a time, uh, time away from other people, time to reevaluate what we're doing with ourselves. Like ask yourself truly, how do I feel about things now? And 
it's okay if you don't feel the same way about things. And I know that I've, re I've repeated myself several times, but um, sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Sometimes we have certain goals and it almost feels like if we've talked about things so much, whether in relationship or in business, there's almost like a fear of changing up what we say we want because there's a whole bunch of people that are now waiting for us to produce or do what we said that we were originally gonna do. And so I'm really getting here a need to forget about everybody else's opinion, forget about what others might say, and to really get honest about what it is that we need, what do we need, and how can we best support ourselves during this time of discovering what we need now. And to be okay with the fact that plans change, things change, feelings change, people change, we change. And as to lean into this idea of adjusting um, a little bit easier. In addition to that, we have the Four of Wands upright and the Star upright. Find your happy again. What makes you filled with joy? This is a moment of celebration. I think after a period of time of rest and contemplation and uh, self, self rediscovery, um, we'll feel ready to socialize. We'll feel ready to find joy in the small things again. Um, we're going to be able to find our hope our hope for a brighter future, a hope for a brighter future for the entire collective, hope for ourselves, uh, hope for love, hope for financial abundance, hope for generational he healing, just hope for brighter days ahead. And I think that's why it is so necessary to take this time out. That's why it is so necessary Wow, <laughs> my phone just fell in a giant bug, just flew here, <laughs> flew into my screen. Anyway, I'm not gonna be editing this video, so you guys are definitely gonna see everything. Um, I, almost, I almost think it's fun that you guys get to see all the behind the scenes with an unedited video. But as I was saying, sometimes you need to take a time out. You have to take a time out in order to recalibrate so that you could free up space. Stress takes up emotional space. I can't stress that enough, no pun intended, but yeah, stress does take up space. And once we can release what no longer serves us, no matter what that looks like, we open ourselves up to having more room and more space to feel other things outside of stress. Stress for deadlines, stress for like getting back to people, stress for goals that you have for yourself, stress in relationships, whatever it is that's taking up that space let some of that go and open yourself up to the possibility of finding joy in all the small things again. So I hope this message does resonate with you all. Thank you so much for being open to coming along with me on this journey. Um, you know, I am part of the collective as well and I've been going through some emotional transformations as we always do. But for some reason, this portal that's opened up with the full moons, with the second full moon coming up in Aquarius soon, um, I'm really feeling that there is a massive shift that's taking place, not just for me, but for everybody. And so whatever you guys need to do to find yourself once again, for me, it was getting into a car, driving an hour and a little bit away by myself and being surrounded by all of this natural beauty. That's what it took for me to rediscover uh, the balance that I need for myself in order to make decisions that feel really good, like truly feel good for me on the inside. So. I'm wishing you guys well for the rest of this week. I hope this message resonates with you all and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.